Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Arthur Miller. I'm born in Vienna and I study at the Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology. Well, both quite urban areas to get into the research topic of wildlife management. At uh, the time when I started my hunting course at the Vienna Hunting Association, I also had to decide for a master thesis topic in Economy and Society of East Asia. So I asked my former supervisor, Mr. Frank, here he's dressed as a punk, it's not his regular outfit by the way, um, do you know anything about hunting system in East Asia? Even though he's quite a wise guy, actually an expert on North Korea, he did not know anything about the topic and neither did I. I found out information is very sparse and it's not only a new and fresh master thesis topic, uh, it's also kind of an academic niche and a perfect branding for my future academic career. So, here I am now with the Momo Gagakusho Scholarship, studying wildlife conservation in Japan. Actually, I'm a social scientist and not at all a biologist, but it's an issue which really requires a multidisciplinary cross-sectoral approach and a holistic view. Let me give you an example. For example, in Japan, over 70% of the hunters are 60 years or older, so it's an aging and declining hunting society. At the same time, ungulate pest species such as sicker deer and wild boar are rapidly increasing and causing over 15 billion yen damages in agriculture and forestry. Because there are no more wolves in Japan since 1905, um, the human predators are hugely overtasked. Um, there are not enough slaughter chambers, so sometimes the hunters even bury the corpses in the woods. What a waste of resources! Did you know that venison is a high-quality, high-protein meat, probably better than anything you can get in the supermarket? You should definitely try it if you are not a vegetarian. So, uh, also Japan can make itself independent from market structures, from meat imports, and uh, promote a local sustainable problem. Also, other hunting countries in East Asia have similar problems, wildlife trade, poaching, indigenous hunting, VIP hunting, all this relates to the structure of a hunting system. My methodological approach provides a legislation check, a governance check, a sustainability evaluation framework which can be applied, modified and integrated to hunting systems all over the world. It's the first attempt to describe hunting systems in East Asia in absolute detail on the three well-known pillars of sustainability. The ultimate aspiration line is to provide decision-making support and raise awareness on the issue. Also, landowners in Berlin Brandenburg suffer from similar vegetation problems and human wildlife conflicts like in Japan. So I would be grateful if you support me on my mission. Thank you very much for your attention and how Austrian hunters say, Weidmannsheim.